Hello everyone, this is, this is Harsimran Singh. I am founder of Lockers. Today I'm going to give you an overview of Lockers from creating a new lead to creating a bill and sending it to a client. So we'll discuss everything in, in today's session. So the very first thing is like once you log into Lockers, you will see a dashboard. So dashboard gives you overview of your practice. So it gives you today's agenda here. So agenda is like all the tasks and all the all the meetings you have to do today will show up here. Lead trends. So leads are potential new clients. So if I come to you and tell you like, hey, I have a case for you, but I haven't given the case yet. The case will be converted into real matter. You know, like when like I sign an agreement or I sign a retainer. Before that, you know, like I'm just a potential new client. So Locus gives you ability to track like how many new leads come to you and how many you are converting, how many you are marking as not hired. And it tells you your conversion rate. Pipeline value is whenever a potential new client comes to you, you can add like how much potential revenue, like estimated revenue you think you will generate from that matter. So it tells you how much money you have like in a pipeline and how much has been converted, how much is not hired. Practice performance matrix. So in Locus, you can track like how you're performing. You can put like how much is your target for this year. You can put like what is your billing rate and how many days you work. So system will calculate how many billing hours you have to work to reach that target. Conversion rate is this report tells you like what is your conversion rate based on different parameters right now we are seeing based on the source you can click here and you can say you can see by by refer so you see like it so shows me by refer what is my conversion rate like if jackson watch he is sending me clients i'm converting all of them and my value of conversion value is seventy three thousand dollars so you can you can see these reports by different parameters, same with the pipeline value, you can see by, by source, by refer, by practice area, originating, attaining a responsible attorney. And the conversion rate is very useful, you know, like if you have multiple people in your firm, associates, and then you want to see like what is your, their conversion rate. So this can really help you out. Leads added gives you the report like how much you are adding leads over a period of time. And you can again see by refer, you can see by originating at any practice area. Top refers tells you like who are your top refers, who are people who are sending you more clients. Outstanding revenue is anything which you have sent to client is a waiting payment shows under a waiting payment. Work in progress is anything you have, you know, like you are working or is in the draft. So total in draft tells you like if you have like for example, you have created invoices and you haven't sent to the client yet. So they will show up like in total in a draft. Uninvoiced amount will show anything you are working on right now. You haven't created an invoice on it yet. This dashboard is customizable. You can customize it however you want as based on the user. So each user in your firm can have their own dashboard. They can remove the reports which they don't need. They can just remove them and they can try and drop. So you see like how easy is to is to build your own dashboard. You can make these reports big. See what I'm doing here. And so it's totally, totally customizable. You can remove the reports which you don't need. You can save it. You can reset to the default, default value. So I will save it. And so now I will show you how your leads dashboard looks like. So if you click on leads, you will go to the lead dashboard. So leads dashboard, it shows you like your pipeline. So in my pipeline, my first stage is prospect. My another stage is initial consultation, follow up and sign agreement. You can create your own stages. You can rename these stages if you like. Each card here is your lead. It tells you right away when you last contacted them, what is the estimate value you think you will generate from that lead. If you have added the notes or people or, or the other task, it will show right away here. So if I open this one here, any of these, it will show me the notes which I have added here. You see, did a meeting with a client. 
and you can add a phone log and an email log here here it will show you all the information here it's very easy to copy anything if you want if you are connected with you know, like your file system dropbox box onedrive or google drive it will show up here you can send an intake form to them if you have you can send an e-signature request you can apply workflows automatic workflows which we'll discuss like in some other video and you can convert this to a matter or did not have if you like i will close this out we'll go to the matters how our matters look so you see like i have another pipeline for litigation here my first stage is pleading and motion initial consultation follow-up sign agreement waiting on client and different stages you can create your own pipelines from scratch it's very easy you can just click here create new pipeline and then you can add your stages you see i have another pipeline criminal and i don't have any matters in it but it's very easy to create these pipelines like you can just drag and drop your stages if you like you can add new stages by just doing add new stage and so this is how your your pipelines look like so it locks your access to both views your access to a pipeline view like you are seeing right now and you can go to the more traditional list view as well so the list view looks like this you can add your own fields which you want to show on this list view and this is true for, for your leads as well so you can click here you can add the fields which you want so you can just mark those fields as true you can drag them drop them for example if i want my practice area on the top after my number i can bring it on the top you can add custom fields to this list view as well so it's very easy you can add a custom field so for example i want to add my property type here and you see it will show up here you can close this out you can set the the column size so it's very customizable and you can and the system will remember your choice so if you don't like the pipeline view you can select a list view and the system will remember it and if you select a pipeline view system will remember like your last choice was pipeline view and will always show you the pipeline view right so let's start with creating a lead and then we are going to convert it to a matter if you don't want to start with the lead you can just start with with the new position so we'll start with the lead in this in this demo here so i will say new lead i will put mr and i will put a name here so i will say john and so the moment you see i put john the system tells me if there are possible duplicates here so you see so this is very useful you know, like to remove any any duplications you already have and so last name i'm going to put here is later you can put some information so i'll say it's later and gmail.com you can put there you see i was adding slater here and was showing me the possible duplicates as well so you can put the, the phone number here you can add multiple phones you can add multiple email addresses here if you like searches you know, like we search in the google address so for example you can just type it in so you see the moment i started adding it it's starting to search for the addresses so this is very useful you know, like so you don't do mistake in the addresses and if you want to add like a suite so you can just say suite 234 so it's very easy and potential matter you can add potential matter information i will say locus versus slater you can add a practice area if you want you can add a location right now you can we can put an uh, estimated value let's say we think this case will generate twenty thousand dollars we can add the tax so i'll put a litigation here and on this one i will put asylum and i will put uk so you can add your own tax as well you can add your custom fields if you like so we'll say save created a lead for me now i can add the notes here your notes can be anything so you can say you did a meeting with the client you can add the phone logs and email logs here as well so 
we'll close it out and let's go to the leads now so see it shows up here so you will move it to some different stages and and the final stage will be sign agreement after a few weeks so now you like you may want to once it is they have already signed for agreement you may want to convert to matter or did not hire so we'll convert to a matter here and you see it will again show me the show me show me my matter screen so, so we have very interesting feature where you can you know, like you can link your document generation you can link your 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 people who are working on those cases to the practice areas so the moment i will select bankruptcy it will apply a bankruptcy template it will apply the custom fields for bankruptcy it will apply the people who work in my firm on bankruptcy cases and it will apply so when i'm going to create a matter it will automatically create folders for bankruptcy so see i will select bankruptcy the moment i selected bankruptcy it added two members here and it added some custom fields here so you can create your own custom fields you can link to to the practice area to the group and then you know, like the moment you will select practice area it will do all those things and so now you can put the billing type here let's say it's hourly rate is four hundred dollars we will do next and again you see like if i want to add any information i can add now so we are going to going to do the convert now so once you convert a lead to a matter you like it will pull all the information you added here you will see all the information if i click on a client now it will show me all the information regarding a client it will show all the information about this about this matter here again you can add notes you can add phone logs you can add email logs you can add time here you can add expenses and flat fee let's say let's we want to add some flat fee here so you will click on a flat fee so let's say two thousand dollars and you can select activity items here so we'll say this is research two thousand dollars i can put the description if i want i can add some time you can start a timer here you or you can start you can directly add time so we'll add some time here we'll select this is a research for two hours and and see here so my default billing rate is four hundred dollars my matter billing rate is again four hundred dollars and if I want to change my rate based on activity, I can just put type, type it in and I can save it. And now you like, <clears throat> so you see here, you will see like what is the uninvoiced balance on this, this matter here. It will show you the financial info, it show you your trust balance, credit balance, uninvoiced, outstanding balance. You can directly create an invoice from here. Or you can go to invoices and you can create a new invoice so I will show you both so this is why your first way to create invoice you will click on create invoice and you see it will give you like you want to create for the all time and you see I added some time entries and flat fees so I will say create invoice and here you can add your information and then you can save this invoice so this is one way to create invoice other is let's cancel it out and directly we go to invoices and we create new invoice and we select our matter so our matter was john slater so and let's select the client so now i can click on add an invoice activity for john slater so then i can add and again you see like so this is the other way to create an invoice and we will save it and I don't have a logo here so if I save it now so the invoice has been saved you can create different templates your invoice templates like and you can do it under the settings if you like you can send this invoice to your client you can send by email and they can automatically they, they can pay you by they can pay you by law pay using law pay online you can add payments so if for example they sent you payments you want to add a payment you will click on add a payment 
and if you have some money on your operating account or trust account you will see in the over here funds available if you don't have anything it will not show so i'm going to put 2600 direct payment and the system will show you like this has been paid and have run to your to your operating account here you will see all your favorite matters so each matter you can mark it as a favorite matter and five last matters will show up here as as your five recent matters and if you don't want to start with lead you want to start you don't want to track leads you can do the same thing you can start from add person i will show you quickly so we will say john rock and so you can say create an add matter and after this the all the steps are saying so now we will create a matter john walk and then you know, like all the steps after this is same as as i showed you earlier and if i go to john slater i forgot to show you like on the files you see it automatically created these folders here because those folders were automatically connected with my practice area so how you set is you go to settings and you go to your firm settings and you see practice area defaults and under bankruptcy i have added like what i meant my default members or default folders I want to create I can set my billing type and then I can add some custom field groups and then I can link my custom field groups with, with this practice area so it added all these folders automatically for me and, and that's it thank you very much